Before we start, I've actually made a new Instagram account because my old one was deactivated and it is at the dot craft dot mansion. Hello and welcome back to the Craft Mansion. I'm David and in today's video I'll be doing something which I've been longing to do for quite some time. So about three months ago I've ordered a box which arrived this week. As you know from the title of this video, it is Jazza's Ultimate Creativity Collection, which is a collection of three art boxes. So this video is mostly going to be an unboxing video. The three boxes are a total of $365, and it may seem like a lot, but thing is that if you actually bought the things separately, it would be more than $745. You can either buy the three boxes together, or just one of them, or two of them, and I'll leave a link down in the, in the description below, where you can actually go and find what the boxes are, find what's inside them and if you want you can actually buy them so without further ado let's start with the intro so we can start opening the, i'm looking over there because the box is over there and they haven't opened it so you know play the intro so we can open the box now i know it doesn't look like much and it's actually dirty just because this is the outer cover it's quite heavy actually <laughs> It's 7.5 kilos. So I've made the camera to be a bit higher because I actually need to be standing up for this because it's too tall to be on the table. <laughs> it's here. Is it right if I do this or hopefully it won't flip or anything? It's the right way up. Okay. It's the ultimate creativity collection by Jezza. <laughs> So as you can see inside the whole thing, there are three boxes. There's Jezza's Incredible Inky Box, which is filled with ink stuff, like pens and not just pens, but you'll see later on. Jezza's Super Sculpture Box, which is essentially around clay and that stuff. And then we have Jezza's Mega Minis Box. It's not a mini box, it's quite large, that's why it's a mega mini box. And it's filled with miniature painting stuff and miniature things. So now like this, you'll get to see everything I'm seeing. Sing them up. And let's start. And for those who haven't seen it, there's this at the back. Ta -da! <gasps> there's actually a guidebook to this. It shows you everything that's in here. So we have the cappuccino book. As you can see, the pages are actually dark. We have four markers that are chiseled nib, which is for calligraphy, of course. There's a graph book. This is actually graphics paper. And it's waterproof and it's for alcohol droplets and poor artworks. Paintbrushes, these are sharp nibbed paintbrushes. I actually need some of these. So what's this? Pearl X and gum Arabic. Metallic calligraphy. It's a metallic calligraphy set. It's closed, obviously. But you can be sure that most of the stuff that's in this box will be used in my bullet journal. And there is a total of 12 colors. These are, let's see, alcohol inks. You can mix them on this paper. We have different colors of the alcohol ink. And these are water-based inks. So we have both water-based and alcohol-based. This box came upside down. You even saw me opening it upside down. But nothing spilled or anything. It just shows you how well thought this box was. There's an actual J over here, which is of course Jezza's. I did see some pictures of this, but I didn't actually check what's inside. A classic calligraphy set. We have the ink over here. This is, this is very neat. This is what's inside. You also get a stand with this. Is it like this or like this? You know, the best part is this actually. This is quite intricate. It's made of glass. And you can use different nibs. I'll just get the box out so you can see them. There are different nibs for the pen, which you can use with this ink. Yeah, by the way, this is for triangle calligraphy. You have the perfect spacing, so that's why it's there as well. And in the book itself, you get a lot of ideas of what you can do with the stuff that's inside the box. Oh, so you actually, these are powders and you get to mix them to make the inks. So actually what I said before is not actually 100% right because there are nine colors and this is the gum arabic. La -da 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 Oh sh So that's box number one. And now we get to just a super sculpture box. It is quite heavy. There's clay in this. At the back we have 
this design. We have Jezza playing with some clay. We have another guidebook for what? Oh my goodness. It's a pouch with Jezza's face on it. When I used to form clay before, I didn't actually use tools which were meant for clay. So now I actually have tools for clay. So thank you, Jezza. It's awesome. So first we have these embolishing sets. So there's this thing on the handle. And then there's more bits over here. Then, what is this? A roller for clay. Good, because I've actually been using a marker up till now. These are rubber tip sculpting tools. They're shapers. These are for cutting small parts. And now we have this. This is, I think, wire for... Yeah, so this is the wire to make skeletons for your sculptures. What the hell is this? I think this is the texturing tool. So there's small wires so you can make frequent textures, frequent holes. These are actually, I think, more tools. They're quite useful. There's a spatula sort of thing, which can also be used for the glitter thingies, you know, to make to mix stuff up with the other set. Now let's move on to the colored stuff. Wait, these are more paint brushes. This is Jezza's favorite polymer clay, and this is Jezza's favorite clay. So now we have some colored clay, and it is oven baked. And it's not that high because it is only 130 degrees Celsius. So you can use this in your normal oven. And now these are pastels, I think. Yeah, it says this over there. So apparently you use these on the clay before baking. And when you bake it, it leaves a nice texture, a nice color on the clay itself. And last but not least, we have the Mega Mini Box. Mega Mini, sorry. By the way, the company that made these art boxes is actually called Smart Art. And in this box, there's also stuff from Puppet Swarm and the Army Printer. Oh, and at the back, here's Jezza playing with miniature Jezza. Oh, that's the channel, it's tabled up time. Oh, and this is a discount code for more smart art boxes. To be honest, I'm really excited to use this stuff in this box because minis isn't something that I do usually. I want to try some stuff out so I can make a whole video just about minis. This is a stay wet. So the idea behind this is that you put paint on this and it stays wet. That's why it's called stay wet. And I think there's foam. Yes, there's foam underneath. And actually in the guidebook, they don't just tell you what's inside, but how you can use this stuff. You know what? They was actually going to buy an X-Acto knife. I'm glad I didn't because I have one over here. Yeah, so this is for cutting really small bits. That's why it has, you know, a fine tip. Wood glue. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make a video with these. I'm not that good with miniature painting, but I will try my best. Here's a sneak peek of what's inside. I won't show you everything because, as I said, I'll be making, you know, another video. And you can see the uh, assembly and the result in that video. This is another box. And let's see what's inside. There's the instructions of where things go. So, Milliput Standard. Water-based epoxy putty you can use to fill gaps Okay, so you can use the fill gaps between the parts of the miniatures. There's paints, paint brushes. And by the way, this isn't just like a normal box he put inside the whole thing. He collected these and put them in the box because they are the most useful things. So there's different paint brushes and different tools. There's colors for these, cork, foam and foam core. Some of the many things you can use to base your minis and create the aromas. Okay, the middle part is foam board, there's cork and then there's foam. There is a small cutting mat as well and a place where you can mix different paints. And last but certainly not least is this thing. This is the thing that convinced me to buy all three of them. So the small boxes are $99 each and this large one is $199. Of course the three of them together are $265 and I thought, well, you know, it's a bit pricey. But this was the thing that convinced me because this is just as artwork and it has a signature on it. So from here I can say thank you for this because it's something that I appreciate. And by the way, the artwork is phenomenal. So I think that the stuff from this box merits a video on its own. I may try some stuff out from the other boxes. So I'll do that tomorrow because today I can brainstorm what I'm going to do. And you'll see the things tomorrow. Well, it's my tomorrow, it's your now. <laughs> So I decided that today I will explore the incredible inky box. I'm not that good with calligraphy, but you know, let's try it out. Oh, yeah, that's a straight line. And the good thing is that it doesn't bleed. Let's try and write my name. So 
So apparently I don't know how to write my name. <laughs> This one is slightly better. Oh, I made a mistake with the name again. And now with the last one, I'll just try to mold them. Make this nice and big. That's what she said. So it's not that perfect, but I like the way that when you make this tiny notch over here, it's a straight and thin line. So that's it for these elegant writer calligraphy markers. I'm gonna look like a professional like this. I'll have this like that, and then the ink should be there. This is the feather pen ink. So this goes in there like this. Now I'm not an expert, but apparently this hole over here is used as kind of a reservoir for the ink. Let's hope I don't make a mess. Yeah, I'm wearing white. This is not the perfect color to be wearing while using black ink. As you can see, there's ink in the hole. <laughs> well, this is horrible. So I'm gonna try out one in cursive. As you can see, I'm not that great with cursive. I never actually learned it properly. So I'm just winging it over here, especially with the R, it's horrible. So do you like uh, wash these or something? Before you use them, give the nibs a good wash and scrub with a little toothpaste. Yep. I did that. So I'm gonna blame the bad writing on the chemicals that were on this because I didn't wash it. So I wanna try out at least one more. Yeah, this one goes further in. That's what she said. So this is sturdier and it doesn't open up that much. As you can see, the letters, well, the lines, are all the same thickness. And that is how I feel like a hobbit, using this ink. Now this is watercolor ink. Wait, is this like real ink for calligraphy? And I'm gonna try out the red. So it's a bit pinkish, but the color is very vibrant. So I love it as well. Yeah, if someone knows what I'm supposed to do with these, drop a comment down below. I'll try out the calligraphy set. I'm not sure if it's for the calligraphy set, but we'll see. This is also really nice. There aren't that much colors, but at least these are the primary colors. So, of course, you can make the other colors from these. Whoa. So, of course, if you mix the colors, then you get green. If you mix these colors, you get purple. You can use these as well with the calligraphy set. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be for the calligraphy set, but anyways, you can paint with them and you can use them like this. I think I'll use them like this because, of course, there is a small amount and if I paint with them, I would raise them really quickly. This is, by the way, a different nib. It has, uh, like, a flat piece at the end. So, at the end, it goes like this. Whoop! Now for the most different part, I guess. So this feels like photo paper, actually. For example, with these you can paint with acrylics and then you can scratch off the acrylic to make a design using the background and the acrylics would sort of fill in the negative space in the picture. So we have am amethyst, am I, oh, it's, it's this word. Let's poke it. Oh, well, this smells. I'm just sort of winging it. This is tangerine. This is aqua green. Make sure to tap the ink down because if you puncture the thing while there's ink over here, then, well, there's my finger for evidence. I don't know if you can see it very well on camera, but they're sort of mixing, but not mixing. There's that fine line rainbow. This is. Rainbow, uh... Oh... Whoa! Can you see it? It's, uh... It's like, glittery. So let's... Oh, we can do this, yes. And if it's on white, it's, uh... Yeah, it's just normal glittery. So I'm going to try and uh, mix these as well on this paper. For these, you have to mix four parts color, one part gum arabic, and then add water slowly. 
That is really fine. Oh, fa la 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 la. Yeah, that's very thick. What, what the hell is this? He's just gonna add some more water. Yeah, so that's why I stopped mixing. This is water-based, and this is alcohol-based. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it like that, and hope it dries. So let's see what happens on here. Now, it's supposed to be for calligraphy, so it shouldn't be this thick, I think. But as you can see, even by doing this, it is really lovely, and you can see the metallic aspects of it. And the back is fine as well. Great. Now, in fact, it's actually the right consistency, so it should be very thin. It should be like ink. So as you can see, now I'm writing even more easily. And the only thing I haven't tried yet is this cappuccino book, so... I don't know, let's try the rest on here. No, so I can cut out this page if I want to. Okay, so let's test out the thing here. Ha! Almadov. A testament to how strong this paper is. There's no freaking bleeding through over here. Not even on the back page. Some ink, not the whole bottle. And let's try this. So let's try red. Whoop! Uh, uh. Today is for spelling. So, uh, book enthusiasts will probably hate me for this, but it had to go. Now I have a new book that's not ruined by spilled paint. I'm planning to do something with the colored polymer clay, and of course, the miniatures are a set on their own. And if you don't want to miss out about what's coming next, ring the notification bell down below and also give this video a thumbs up, you can always subscribe right here, these are some more videos from my channel, and until next time, this is Jezza's incredible inky box, I'm David, and this is The Craft Mansion. Oh, and I almost forgot, Merry Christmas!